Come on, you guys. You guys see now. Shh, be quiet. Don't check it out now. Good set of straight oh. teeth. I totally had braces, <laughs> and my ortho was such a perv. Can I just tell you, he stinks so bad, and he totally touched me right here. It was so wrong. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, hey, boy. Uh, uh, what's that on your uh, head there? <laughs> oh, what hell? Well, that's a goiter. Don't, Richter. What gives, Haley? I mean, I've got hormones and shit raging to get out. Well, my apologies to your hormones, but I'm just not ready yet. That's it. I've had it, Haley. Just what the hell's wrong with you anyway? I knew it! I knew she wouldn't let Richter get to first base. Well, what are you gonna do? Goiter boy? You want me to go out? With Goiter Boy. No way, Joni. My dear Haley, as captain of the cheerleading squad, varsity cheerleading squad, 
It is my duty to make sure the cheerleaders uphold a certain status. Now, your blowing it with Richter has jeopardized that status. Besides, we made a bet in October, remember? Until you make a public appearance with Goiter Boy, consider yourself off the squad. You can turn in your cheerleading uniform after tonight. Come on, Haley. This is for your own good. You should be thanking us. Yeah. Just wanted to say good luck on the wrestling meet tonight. Haley! You know what they say about a big goiter, don't you? <laughs> Bigger neckties! Wrestlers, <sighs> are you ready? Dodge high high quarter. Quarter. Go, 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 kids were afraid to touch him. How the hell are they supposed to wrestle him? Remember, our own Bobby High School will be hosting the state championship wrestling meet next week, where our own Cleve Plowman will put his unbeaten streak on the line for the third straight year. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye safely. Congratulations, Whitey. I mean, Cletus. Thanks. Who's your boyfriend, Haley? <laughs> so, uh, do you want to go get a Coke or something? I have to wear something over my neck or they won't let me eat in here. It says it gives the customers acute indigestion. Personally, I think it's the gravy sauce. So what are you going to do after graduation? Well, I can tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to spend my life in this town mining coal. At first, I could waste away here and not even know it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I get so sick of this town. Why don't you go to college? I mean, you have all the credentials and everything. Yeah, I went to one upstate once. It was for cheerleading camp. Well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. I think you're a wonderful cheerleader. I mean, when I'm out there on the mat, I see you sometimes, and it... It helps me. Really? Thanks. <laughs> you know, you really shouldn't let them make you cover up your... the... My goiter? Yeah. It really isn't that bad. That's easy for you to say. Yeah. 
I know. Well, I told that little punky paper boy, if he threw that damn thing anywhere near my Mustang again, I was gonna make him eat his handlebars. <laughs> He's down here crafting drawers. Are you kidding me? Goiter boy? Richter, get out of here. Well, fine then. I was done messing with you anyways, Haley. Hey, goiter boy! You're such a jerk, Richter. You know, if I was you, I'd look out for this one here. You know, the only reason she went out with you was because she lost the bet. Get out of here, Richter. Cletus, yeah. don't listen to him. She lost a bet that I couldn't uh, get to first base with her in a Richter, month. Richter, you are impossible. So, she had to go out with old Gordon boy. <laughs> Cletus, I'm sorry. Let me explain. Look, there was this bet, this stupid bet with Joni, and it never meant to hurt you. It had nothing to even do with you. about the bed even before you asked me out. You did? Why did you agree to go out with me then? Wait. Um, let me make it up to you. What are you doing tomorrow? Come here and look at this. What? Pennies? Pennies are like so annoying. They're completely worthless. They should just get rid of them and start over with nickels. Well, nothing's worthless. You just need to take another look at it, that's all. Cletus, the train won't derail because of this, will it? Because of a penny measuring one-eighth of an inch in width? Well, I don't know. I mean... Where were you during physics last semester? I was in advanced biology, thank you very much. Trust me, Haley. I do trust you, Cletus. There's something... I have something that, that I want to show you. I'm not really who... I'm not the person that you think I am. Here she comes. Over here, you dummy. I done told you to get off the track, Mormon. 
my God, your ear. What? It's bleeding. I told you. It happens sometimes. Now, what were you going to tell me? Oh. Um. Nothing. Uh. Here. Have a penny. You're serious. I'm back on the team. Thanks, Joni. We all decided we want you back. <laughs> you proved yourself. You've got to stop hanging around the goiter boy, though. What? Seriously, Haley. He's a freak. I mean, this is not the sort of image we want to present to the school. What if all the cheerleaders started hanging around freaks and losers? <laughs> we might have more in common than you think. I seriously doubt it. Listen, just tell him that you have a responsibility to the cheerleaders. Haley, this is for your own good. You should be thanking me. See you inside. made this for you. I made it out of those pennies we smashed that day in the train track. You know, the worthless ones. Come here a lot. <laughs> oh, Lord. Victor, <clears throat> listen. I've been thinking, and I feel like totally bad for breaking up with you. And well, I, I, 
I'd like to make it up to you. Haley. Haley, what are you doing? This is so not nice. Do you think it's awful? No. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Really? Look at the the texture and the, and the pigmentation. Was it an operation? Yeah. I had a heart transplant. I said the old one was rotten. But I think this one's working OK. Friends, <laughs> you look so strong. Friends. 